Hi, Captain Wayne here with another one and done disaster survival tip. Following an earthquake, gas leaks will lead to fires. Everyone in your family should know where the gas meter is and how to shut it off in an emergency. So here are some simple steps to keep you and your family safe. Today's lesson, how to shut off the gas. So once the shaking stops, check on injuries and then evacuate. Once you're outside, you should do a complete walk around your home to check for damage, stopping off at the gas meter to see if there are any dials turning. If they are, this could simply mean that one of your appliances is using gas. So if you found no damage, you're going to head back inside, turn off any appliance that was on, check for leaks at the same time by listening for a hissing sound or the smell of gas. Now if there is a leak, we can isolate that appliance by simply shutting off the valve where the flexible gas line connects at the wall. And then we'll go back outside and look at the dials again on the gas meter. So even if you didn't hear or smell the gas, it doesn't mean there's not a leak in the lines that run through your walls and your attic in your home. Some people say if you don't hear or smell it, you're in the clear. This is a real dangerous assumption because the dials on your gas meter could help you find a leak that you might not detect until it was too late. If you determine you have a leak, simply locate the valve on the left-hand side of the gas meter, place your wrench on that valve, and make a one-quarter turn to block the flow of gas. And that's it. Now here's a couple of extra tips. At nighttime, use light sticks instead of candles, for obvious reasons, and store a wrench out by the meter. Now of course, if you do have structural damage, or you're going to leave the property vacate, you need to immediately turn off the gas. Thanks again for watching. For more detailed information, check out our blog at DisasterSurvivalSkills.com. And please share this with family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Well, today we're going to teach you how to use a fire extinguisher and how invaluable this life-saving tool is to minimize risk to your family and property. It's simple to use once you know how it works. I'm not going to make you a firefighter in the next 60 seconds, but I am going to make you more comfortable.